Hello fellow nerds, this is a review of uh, War Games Foundry Early War Falsham Jaeger figures. Um, this is an army I did for a friend of mine <coughs> recently. Um, there's about 20 to 30 models in, the, in the, his army that I did. Um, so this first one up here, uh, I've, I've got a basic squad. I've got uh, the, uh, I guess the NCO, he's carrying an MP40, another guy with an MP40. We've got an LMG team here, they're pretty cool, i got them on a base. Uh, the basing I did mostly with uh, Woodland Scenics or uh, Kato um, Scenics, which are used for railroads in Japan here. Um, I've got a couple other riflemen. Uh, some of the poses are pretty unique. Uh, this one actually happens to be my favorite. I wonder if you can get a better view of this guy. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, I painted the the, uh, the helmet decals on them myself. Uh, we didn't have any decals at the time. Uh, but pretty much, they're pretty uh, easy to paint. I enjoy painting them. Um, they're very, very blockish. So uh, there wasn't hyper details, but there's enough details on there to make them really pop. Um, I found uh, that I could probably do four or five at a time and, and still remain a little bit interested in them. Uh, granted, they were for a friend of mine, so uh, I tried to do a good job. I tried to detail them as much as I could. Um, so this is squad one. Let's take a look at uh, second squad. Pretty similar. Some of the different uh, posts. Okay, so this is the second squad, um, very similar to the first squad. Um, as you can see here, the uh, LMG team is different. They're not on one base like uh, the uh, first squad there. Also, <clears throat> the NCO in this case, we've got it that he's uh, zooming up there so you can see it a bit better. He's firing off his MP40 as opposed to just sort of looking through binoculars. But we do have the same guy here. Um, some more poses. Um, some of them were a bit... The only thing I would say uh, with these guys is uh, with the rifles, the Car 98Ks, uh, sometimes, you know, the ends were getting busted off. Um, sometimes they have the weapon slings that you can see um, through... Uh, in some cases, like for example, on this guy, which, you know, was my favorite pose. Let's zip him back here. You can just see there that he's got a bit of the weapon sling seen. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't go all the way through. So some of the castings, I guess, they're probably a bit, a little bit old. Um, I'm not sure, 100%. But uh, overall, yeah, again, this, this squad was a lot of fun to paint. Um, so uh, those are the two squads that you would have in a reinforced platoon. Let's get on to some of the teams and uh, some of the uh, more uh, bigger, better hardware kind of things of, of this hit, uh, my friend's army. Okay, here is the uh, MMG team that I've done for the Falschmanager Army. Um, the uh, spotter or, you know, extra loader. He's on a removable base. You can take him off there. You can move him around with the version 2 rules, as you know. Um, you can move him out of harm's way. Um, you can have it so uh, he's, he's uh, a bit further behind or a bit further to one side for uh, purposes of uh, avoiding HE shots. Um, so we'll move on to the next team here. Oh, pardon my hand. The next team here we have is an air observer team. Uh, they could also be artillery observer, um, but you know, being Falsham Jaeger and whatnot, you imagine there would be Stukas not far behind their planes as they jump out. Um, they were pretty fun to do. Um, the little radio packs were kind of interesting. It was a new thing for me as well. Oops. Um, I did all right with them, I think. Uh, I tried to put some writing and stuff on the back just to make them a little bit more interesting, make them pop a little bit more. I also did a uh, flamethrower team. Um, oops. The only big change on this one is that I put a little bit of fire coming out the front there, as you can see. Uh, but uh, they were they were quite fun to do. Um, that's the spotter. Um, so all in all, uh, they pretty much painted the same way. Base is done the same way. Uh, but they were they were fun to paint. Real quick to do, uh, and uh, a limited palette of colors as well. Okay, here we go into the last bit. Um, as you can see here, this is the commander. Well, he'd be a lieutenant, first lieutenant or second lieutenant. Um, I did him just a little bit different. The figure was a little bit nicer, so I kind of went to town a little bit more. More detail on him. Um, I uh, added the little British helmet to the, the base so it could be one of the, you know, for Crete or, you know, possibly even something uh, phony war in May 1940. And he's got his two helpers there to help him out, uh, to take, <laughs> take shots for him. Um, over here we have the Kubelwagen with some kind of weird little MMG twirt on top. Um, we got a uh, military police guy. Uh, he, he came with the kit. He looks pretty good. He looks pretty cool. Uh, a few things with this guy, you know, it's kind of fun. You could do some of the badges and things like that. And for the heavy support, which, okay, it's, I'm, I'm sure they didn't drop these into Crete or anything like that. But we did a Stug. Uh, 
and uh, we did it gray. He asked for me to do it gray to keep with the theme of the army. A lot of fun. This is actually a Tamiya kit, 148th scale, which is uh, the scale that we tend to use here in Japan. Um, when we were wargaming, just because of availability and price and everything like that. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, we went, uh, he had me do uh, a little bit of weathering and things on it like that. I'm not a pro at it, but uh, I do enjoy doing it. So this is the Falsham Jaeger army that I painted uh, over the past month. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it, and uh, I can recommend uh, the Wargames Foundry figures. They're a lot of fun to paint. Um, they, uh, they, they paint easily. There's not hyper amounts of detail and there's just enough that you can really make them pop uh, when you uh, get in there. Um, they're clean and uh, the casts are uh, relatively good. A few small things like I said about uh, the uh, the slings on uh, the rifles and things like that but overall I would give I would recommend these figures. I think they're great um, and uh, uh, see you on the board. Bye bye.